Back in 1988, NASA scientist Dr. James Hansen put global warming on the map with his testimony to Congress that, quote, it is time to stop waffling so much and say that the evidence is pretty strong that the greenhouse effect is here. At the same time, he was far ahead of his colleagues and policymakers failed to take him seriously enough to prevent today's climate crisis. More than 25 years later, Dr. Hansen and his colleagues have published an alarming new report warning that even if we hit the international targets for temperature increases, which we're not even on track to do, we risk catastrophic changes to the climate that include runaway sea level rise and massive storms in a very short period of time. Hansen and his colleagues looked at current evidence of ice loss from West Antarctica and other locations and suggest that the ice sheet loss we're seeing today could double in as little as 10 years. That would mean we've crossed a tipping point and sea levels could rise by several meters within 50 to 100 years. That's much, much faster than the International Panel on Climate Change assumed when world leaders agreed to a 2 degrees Celsius target for global temperature rise. The study warns that that could drown our major cities, making them unlivable. In Hansen's and his colleagues' scenario, rapid ice loss from the major glaciers of the world would quickly raise sea levels, drowning every major coastal city and triggering violently extreme weather, like the kind that once moved boulders from the seafloor to the tops of hills in Bermuda from the planet's history. They point to a recent cold spot discovered in the oceans near Greenland and spreading sea ice near Antarctica as evidence that the melting land glaciers in those regions may already have begun this process, and we're running out of time. With global political leaders set to meet in Paris for climate talks later this year, it's time to raise the alarm. The simple fact is that the world's politicians arbitrarily chose the two degree warming target without adequately considering the consequences. And so far, they're acting too slowly even to hit those inadequate targets. The international climate targets are far too timid, and our so-called leaders are failing us when it comes to climate change. Please help us spread the word by sharing this video with your friends. 